And try not to get all the trash and shit. Cockroaches? Shut the fuck up. Okay, come on this way. Yeah. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Is the lighting good? Perfect. Me mine's in it too. Well, yeah, but uh. um, can you like hold it higher so that my face is going like that? Watch. Let me see. Let me see this. Um, fuck, the lighting fucking sucks right now. You know why? Because it's daytime. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> Alright. Hey, pon attention. Okay. Alright. Get off your phone. Alright, alright, alright. God all damn right. it. <clears throat> right here? Like this? Yeah. Is this the same right. recording? Yep. Okay. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Mo Money's channel. So, this has been a highly requested video. You guys have been asking me for this. For a while now, but I needed an expert for Chile Relleno, so I have a little special guest today. I have my sister here with me. Hi. I have, uh, she, if you guys, um, if some of you guys don't know, this is actually the twins mom. Um, this is my older sister. Um, her and my brother-in-law, which is the twins dad, actually have their own channel. So check out the ex Murillos. I'll leave the link in the description box so you guys can check them out. But anyways. Um, my sister is actually the expert at making chile rellenos um, So she's actually teaching me and us how to make chile rellenos today Okay, so the first thing we're going to show you guys are the ingredients As I always do, my ingredients are kind of all over the place right now Just because we got a full house There's like stuff everywhere Just uh, be patient with us But I'm going to like And you're going to hear kids running in the background they're fucking playing band in the background. Everybody's fucking drinking and shit. My mom's over here watching the Mexican news, so um, just bear with me. Anyways, so for the ingredients, we are going to use. So originally, you guys can use queso fresco because that's what um, they tend to use in Mexico, and that's what they use in Mexico. But we don't like. Um, we like them con Monterey Jack, so that's what I use. You can use any cheese that you want. Because um, Big Ruben likes some with queso fresco, so I'll be doing some with Mexican cheese. So, trolls, the ones that are like, oh, that's not the authentic way. So, basically, the authentic way is with queso fresco. Queso fresco, if you guys have been following me for a while, we usually eat queso fresco with like all our Mexican dishes. Um, so, that's the original way to do it. You could do it like that. Us, we preferably like to use Monterey Jack cheese. So you could do either or. Um, the Monterey Jack cheese kind of melts more. Queso fresco doesn't really melt. We already sanitized this, you guys. So don't them. even start. But we already sanitized this. And what kind of chiles are these? Pasilla. These are chiles pasilla. Again, I'm going to write it down in the description box below. Um, so we kind of have a lot of them. I mean, the chiles is just... Depends on how many you want to eat, how many people you're going to have for dinner. Um, so these are the type of chiles that we got. Okay? The salsa that you make for your chile rellenos, I know everybody makes it different. We kind of like ours dry. We don't really like salsa on ours. So I just make like a little, uh, it's a different type of salsa that I make. But you can always use like whatever your mom uses. Because I know my mom uses chile California. Um, but what I use is I use tomatoes and I use chile serrano and uh, un diente de ajo and I'm gonna boil this Okay, you guys so in here because I know you guys like to use um, like to know everything There's one two three four five six seven tomatoes and there's three chile serrano, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then how many um, garlic cloves? Just un diente. So uh, un diente de ajo mm. that means one garlic clove we're gonna boil this. Ah, what I like to do is I, I like to wash my chiles. A lot of people don't wash them because they say que se va, you're gonna burn it. Like you're gonna burn them. And another thing I know a lot of you guys are gonna start telling me right now. Oh, um, it's gonna make a mess. I actually wash the stove. I sanitize the stove. But this is how I like to do them. You don't, whatever works for you. Because a lot of people have told me put them in the oven. Um, it beats making a mess. I tried it in the oven and they do not come out the same. And I also tried 
um, doing um, in the comal, toasting the chiles in the comal, and I they don't they they don't come out the same. Now another thing is try not to burn them too much, not under and not too much because if they're not burned enough, they're hard. So when you try to cut them and eat them, it's gonna be hard. So you'll start knowing once you start burning. So you kind of gotta like multitask. You have your salsa going here. Wait. Hold up. Okay, and then let me pretend like I'm burning right here. So I'll you better be. Today's most day off, so I'm just, you know, having a beer and I'm just learning. So while all this is going on, my little helper went somewhere, but hopefully he comes back right now. So you're gonna get the cheese. And we're gonna get the cheese going while you guys all this is happening and you're gonna cut the cheese for the chile so I actually have so my a helper. <coughs> so it just doesn't really matter. Kind of like this. Your cheese should be looking like this. Okay guys? Right. And look at our chiles, you guys. Your chiles should start to look like this, nice and burnt. So since th that side's already done, it's burnt, it's lifting, so that's how you know that. So you just gotta keep turning them. And then our chiles are still boiling over here. And then how long should they boil the chiles and the tem When I start talking, you should like, you know? When they start, um, how long should they uh, boil the chiles and the tomatoes for? Maybe for like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Don't know, once you put a, you can put, you put a fork through this, once it's soft, you, you'll know they're done. Yeah, she said when I start talking right, you know right here? Like she's the star of the show or I something? Put the AC on. That's why it's called Mo Money's channel. I'm not getting some of the next one. Give me one. I want a we beer. Where's my beer? Okay. He wants to be the camera. Yeah. What's wrong with you? All right, show them how the chile should look. So your chile should look like this. So. Now, like when you put it, did you put them on like high or did you put them on yeah, medium? Yeah, I put them or? on high and usually what you want to do is that you want to get a bag. A plastic bag to put them in. So the chile is done now, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put them in bags. If you guys have the bags when you go to the grocery store, like the ones you put the fruit in or the vegetables, those are fine, but we didn't have any, so we're using these. They're Ziploc bags, you guys. So I'm gonna leave them in there, and then it's gonna be easy to peel. And I'm gonna show you guys the way I peel. You guys can peel however you think it's easy. Oh, also, another thing that you're gonna need is eggs. Now, I took these eggs out of the refrigerator about an hour ago because um, it works better when the eggs are not in the refrigerator. When they're room temperature, that's how you're gonna get your egg. Yeah. Wait, that one's your beer? What the fuck happened to my beer? And mine, mine keep disappearing. My blue This is my beer. And then there's a big ass mess on the stove from the chile rellenos, but they should be nice and toasted like this well this should actually look like burnt not too burnt like where the insides are burnt you just want like the outside more burnt but so right here i have gordo what i have gordo doing is that the yolk he's separating it for me he already knows because he's my little helper he always so this is for the chile rellenos you guys so for the chile rellenos you guys what you're gonna do is you're gonna break your egg and then show them gordo Separate the egg from the yolk. So you're gonna throw your yolk in there. And then you're gonna throw like the clear stuff in here. I don't know what you call it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Whatever. So th this is how I know that my tomatoes and my chiles are done. And this is for our sauce for the chile rellenos, you guys. This is la clara and this is la yema. Okay guys, so I figured out how to say this in English. It's egg white. Okay, my Mexican ass forgot. Anyways, egg white. Spanish is uh, La Clara, I guess. I don't know. That's what my mom said. Okay, whatever. Um, so, however, you're gonna, however many you're gonna use depends on how many eggs. I mean, how many chiles you're gonna make. So, um, just kind of try to equal it out, you guys. So now I have my onion left over from the rice. You can use whatever type of onion you want. White. I, I usually use the yellow or the white, but you guys only have purple. So I'm gonna cut the rings. 
really thin. Okay. You're gonna saute these onions. What are we doing now? So now, I'm putting a little bit of oil, just a little bit, so I could um, saute the onions. So we're gonna saute the onions to make the salsa for the chile rellenos. Ma, ma, Everybody shut up! You motherfuckers over there having a party and shit. Uh, mom, where's the thing? Okay, so now what are you doing to the salsa? I'm gonna put a little bit of chicken broth in there. Okay, so we're putting consomme. For those of you who don't know, <clears throat> for those of you who don't know what chicken broth is, it's consomme. Chicken bouillon, whatever you guys call I it. I like this one. You guys can put whatever you guys like. And like I said, you guys can make your own sauce. Like if, because I know my mom has a different type of sauce, but I don't really like mine. Like, sometimes, yeah, I make them with a different type of sauce. But. And the salt for your, I mean the, the consomme for your salsa, you guys, or the chicken bouillon. Um, just depends on how like salty you like it. Or how flavorful you like it so just keep tasting it and that's how you're gonna know how much like to put in it's all like your like your taste how do you like it put a little bit of um, salt in the onion but so if you feel like your if you feel like the onions need like a little bit more oil so it gets all taste that's fine you can put a little bit in there and then I, I put a lid just a little bit of salt beside the, the so you guys can put salt also um, besides the consomme or the bouillon whatever you guys call it and then we threw a little bit of salt in the um, sauteed onions okay guys taste test oh it's good so now look they're sauteed That is gonna give a flavor that onion. If you guys don't like them, at least take them out after. Okay, so the purpose of uh, putting the bags, the purpose of putting the chiles inside the bags is because the purpose of this is to make the chiles kind of like a little more soggy. Because uh, basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the chiles. So, what we mean is, we're gonna show you guys right now, but I just wanna like. I want you guys to know the bag is important. So, basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the chiles and we're gonna t we're gonna like take off the burnt part, right? That's what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, we're gonna clean them. So we're gonna clean them and we're gonna take off the burnt part. So I washed the sink really good with soap, and we disinfected it, you guys, it's for all my washed. germaphobes. And then, so now I that I washed it, los vas a pelar. So you're gonna peel the chile, you guys show them. You're gonna peel it. So you're taking off all the burnt part. Cause it made it soft now for you to eat. All right guys, so your chile should look like this. You're gonna take off all the burnt part. You just peel it off. And you know what? Sometimes yeah. they'll break off, like they'll open up. It's fine. It's fine. You can just put a toothpick. Do you guys have toothpicks? No. Okay, so I, I've done them before with um, without the toothpick. And sometimes the cheese does come out, but it's not the end of the world. But um, but I normally at my house I do put toothpick. So if you're pulling up to Suegra's house with chile rellenos, put a toothpick in it. Yeah, because you don't want her to think that you don't know what you're doing. So when you open them up, you're gonna close them back up with the toothpick. Make sure you tell whoever is gonna eat them. There's a toothpick, a toothpick in there because you don't want them to die and then you're going to get two. And this is your man and you want him to die. Why would I want to watch them when I can just watch Mo Money's video? That's right. You watch Mo Money. I'm going to show you guys the way. Because I'm just going to clean out, once I open it, for Gordo to stuff them, like I'm cleaning out the seeds. Okay, so here, I clean this one out. So after you guys peel, peel off all the burnt parts, this is what you're going to cut it open. In the, in, mid, in the middle. It's just so like easier for me to just go like this with the water on. And what you have to do is gut them. Like you have to take all the seeds out. 
So when you're done, your chile should look clean like this. So once it's nice and clean, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the cheese. We're gonna we're gonna put the cheese in the middle. Let's do another one to show them. Okay, so to this one, make a slit on the top or down the middle. No, just a little slit, because if not, all the cheese is going to come out, and we don't have toothpicks. Oh, yeah, we don't want Oh, we don't? If we have toothpicks, it would be a different story, but we got to make miracles happen right now. A little too big, but it doesn't matter. Okay, you see, guys, so that's what we're going to do. Can I go sit down now? <laughs> Ma! Okay, so now, you guys, um, we are... Um, how do you say whisking? We're mi whisking the egg whites. Whip. So we're gonna make them super fluffy. Okay, so you're gonna use, what do you call that? I don't know. The whisker, I don't know. I don't know, but you use this. You guys know what it is. Yeah, All right guys, so we've been whisking our, our egg whites for a while. Um, we're still working on them, but this is what they should start looking like. Oh shit. <laughs> Technical difficulties. And he did wash his hands, right Gordo? No, of course. Okay, yeah. Alright guys, so you're, um... Your egg whites should look like this. It should look like fucking whipped cream, all right? Make sure it's like this. And airy. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I know, like, you know, we got, we're got we all over the place, but what you're going to need is all-purpose all flour, right? Yeah. Flour. And then put it in a plate. We're using disposable plates because, you know, a bitch don't want to wash dishes. And then you're going to get your chile. And you're gonna dip it in your flour, okay? And Gordo kinda um, close these for me so they're not done perfect, but... Just, we ended up finding toothpicks, so you just yeah, fix them. So then, you dip them in the egg. And then you throw it in the oil. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of the egg because I just don't like to waste it. But this does bring your um, it brings it down. So try not to put a lot of it in there. So, so you see this one, we didn't put the yellow part in there. So the yolk. So you see how it looks a little like off. So I do think you should put a little bit of the yolk in there to make it even. You see how it's even now. You see how it's even out? This one, we didn't put the yellow in, so it's like kind of all over the place. This one, we put a little bit of the egg yolk and see how it's like a little like thicker and it covers it more full. Okay, so now I'm going to do it myself. So Momani is learning. Madi, hi to the camera. Hi. Alright guys, so this is what your chile should look like after you cleaned it. Um, so I'm, now I'm going to do it just to show you guys. Um, so we ended up finding toothpicks, so I ended up closing it with toothpicks. So this is what your chile should look like after you cleaned it and you stuffed, with, you stuffed it with queso. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put it in the flour. Make sure it's nice and covered with your flour. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna dip it in the egg or the, the egg white. Damn, this shit's fluffy. I shouldn't have put my whole hand in there. Okay, so now does it fit in there? Does this fit in there? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my chile relleno. Okay, baby girl. So like, look. See how this is not cooked right? You can just go like this. Come here. That's the one that we didn't put the egg yolk, huh? This no. One? The one that we didn't is over here. But look, oh. 
this is one that I didn't put the, the egg yolk, but look at this one all nice and crispy. Look. Okay, so see how we put a little bit of egg yolk and it's nice and covered? Let me show you guys. This is the one that it was just nothing but the um, the egg white. So you, shh, come on. What is this guy doing? Okay, so. That's because you didn't know Okay, so this is what the egg this is what the egg white looks like you guys you see how it's kind of off so maybe just put a little bit of the egg yolk in there so it looks even you know oh baby girl and our rice is done if you guys don't like your rice like this then you're missing out because i promise you this shit is fire all right guys so i'm using um kind of a deep dish but you don't have to but i am so okay so what we're gonna do how we prep our chile rellenos so our recipe's done already, so I'm gonna just show you how to prep your plate because that I know how to do by myself. Okay, so we're gonna get our chile relleno. And then now we're gonna put the salsa that we made earlier. And we're gonna put a little bit on top. Okay, so now we're gonna add the rice. And girl, you know I want some cheese. Alright, and you know your girl don't eat nothing without tapatio. So I'm put some tapatio on top. You want to go for me? Okay. Alright guys. <clears throat> so now it's time for the fetish taste. You know how this goes. So let's do the fetish bite. Oh, baby girl, hella cheesy. Okay, and we're gonna put a little bit of rice because you know I love rice. Taste test. Mm -hmm. Fucking fire, you guys. Fire. Let me do another little. Put some cheese on it. I do recommend that you do this on cheat day, but it's worth the fucking calories. All right, guys, and that can. Are you recording me? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, and that concludes our chile relleno recipe. I'm sorry, we were. Can you guys stop fucking making noise? Fernando. That was wrong with you. Alright guys, and that concludes our chile relleno recipe. Um, I'm sorry we were all over the place and there was so much background noise. It's just we have a full house today. You know how that goes when you're uh, a big ass family and everybody comes over, everybody makes a mess and it's fucking noise everywhere. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you guys have an easier way of making the chiles, then go for it and let me know if you do. Like I said, I tried the pomada and I tried the oven and it just didn't work out for me. So Yeah, and then thank you to my guest star, uh, my sister who helped me make the recipe. Again, I'm going to put her channel. It's called Ex Murillos in the description box. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Pull up to Suegra's house with this recipe and spent on her. Tell her you know how to cook. I actually made these for Ruben, which is recording and making us laugh because he's the one that's always asking for chile rellenos, but they are a lot of work, so I don't like to make them. And you guys, um, uh, and it's kind of hard too when the twins don't have the right spatula and more money over here. I don't know what happened to their spatula. So I need to upgrade my cooking utensils, but it's cool because we still make it happen. We're like the Flintstones. But, um, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know what you guys think about the video. Send me videos, pictures of you guys eating the food. Um, again, thank you guys so and much. And tag me, for your delicious. Yeah, That's tag me, delicious. She's the one that showed us. Um, you can tag more money too. You can tag both of us. And thank you guys for watching. <laughs>